while I was at that crossroads, do I get it painted? Because it's only original once. Or do I try to get try to get it shined up and see what happens if somebody buffs it out or, or whatever? So I, I brought it over here to gloss it. To, to it's game time and I'm up one. How many bottles of coffee? So we're about building relationships. So I'm a female, gloss it. The fastest growing brands for detailing products, chemicals, and buildings in the world. Hey guys, it's Rich here, another weekly buff, and I've got a treat for you this week. I've got Doug here with a 79 Dodge Stepside pickup called Little Red. Now this is an interesting story because this is a patina vehicle. And when he came to me, we did a couple test panels on it, and I said, listen, there's a lot of issues with the paint, and I'm not confident that we're gonna get it to be what you want. And he said, no, what I want is it to look original. This paint job is 41 years old. Yep, 41. Original paint. Original paint, guys. And as you look around the truck, we'll show you here in the video, close-up shots, there's a lot of patina wear through. We were okay with that because it gives a character. It gives it like imperfect beauty, right? Is what I would call it. Um, and so I want Doug to talk about how he found the truck, how long you owned the truck, what you've done with the motor. So tell us a little bit about the truck, Doug. Well, I found it in Arizona. It's been a desert truck its whole life. Um, 26 years ago is when I picked it up and took ownership of it. And it just had a, it only had 60 some thousand miles on it. So my interest was to keep it perfect the way it was, the way it was made. Uh, being a, a union carpenter and a, and a gearhead that loves classic muscle cars, this checked both boxes for me, being a construction worker and, and a muscle truck. So I had to have it and I wanted to keep it as original as possible. Well, I spent a lot of years driving it daily for work, using it as a work truck. Then eventually back in the late 1999 or so, it got the set um, and I would race it time, for the time again here and there. Uh, and it spent all of its time out in the sun for the most part. And that's how it started to become faded. While I was at that crossroads, do I get it painted? Because it's only original once. Or do I try to get try to get it shined up and see what happens if somebody buffs it out or, or whatever. So I brought it over here to gloss it to, to have them take a look at it. And I had all the chrome and all the trim and everything off of it because I wanted it to make it as easy as possible to get the most complete shiny job I can get done on it. Um, Rich tells me to pull it off the trailer and drive it in, so uh, I, I drive it into the shop and he right away went and attacked it with a bunch of lights and, and went after one spot in the fender and, and showed me how he was going to bring out the original color to it because yep. it was more pink or orange than it was red. Now, what's interesting is the motor that was in this vehicle was, what was the original motor? Because it's not 360. That it's a 360. So, but you took it and did a 360 stroke to a 408. How much horsepower is that? 409 horsepower and 500 and foot pound of torque. Can you imagine that in a little truck that probably weighs like, what, 2,500 pounds? Exactly. Right? Exactly. And do you, can you imagine how quick this is? I mean, I bet you shock some of these guys at the stoplights and their exotic cars and they think, oh, that's a little red pickup. It's not going to do anything. Right. And then all of a sudden they're looking at your tail lights going, what just happened? Right. Right. So we want to talk about some of the detail on the truck. Um, it's really neat. He's got the valve stacks, which you typically see like on a diesel pickup, right? Right. We don't really see it on a gas pickup. And if we walk around the vehicle here, some of the detail that makes the truck really unique is this is the original sticker that came from Dodge, correct? Correct. And it was part of the 79 series of step side pickups called the Adventure 150. But he never removed the sticker. And here's the crazy part. The sticker was in really bad condition when we started. And we actually can polish out the sticker to have gloss in it. And I like that it has its natural cracks. You see those little cracks? Which makes it look awesome, right? Right. Now talk about talk about the, the wood paneling on the side of the vehicle. Well, they, they, they all came with this on it. Um, and what I did was while Rich had it, while he was doing his magic, I sanded it all down and, and I've got probably nine coats of uh, urethane on it to make it shine and make it pop and, and I've bought some new pins for it uh, to, to really make that uh, shine as well so that I knew once I seen what he had done to it and I put this wood back on it, uh, I knew that that was going to be the, the best selling point 
for, for a muscle truck of this era. So if you look, guys, in the video, you'll see that uh, without the wood paneling, we polished to as much perfection as we could so that when we put the wood paneling on, these middle sections would have a good gloss and a good color, right? And you can see the fender in the video, the before and after of this fender, it was completely oxidized. I mean, it was bad. It was right. chalky, right? right? It was almost like a chalkboard. Um, and the amount of detail, when you look at the chrome, the chrome wheels, I like the spindles here. That's a nice touch. Guys, this is an awesome truck. We wanted to share this. Doug's a busy guy. We had a hard time tracking him down to get this video wrapped up, but we appreciate Doug coming out with his wife. Uh, we don't know where the daughter is. She's been following us on social media for the last month. Um, I think she likes the truck more than her dad. Is that true? <laughs> Possibly. She, was, she wasn't born yet when I bought it, so... Well, that's that's how I remember her age and how long I've had the truck. Do you tell her that? No. Okay, don't, because she probably, women don't like that. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for joining us on the Weekly Buff. Doug, thank you again for giving us the opportunity to work on your vehicle. And guys, be sure to ring the bell, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next week.